You know, when I talk about the side effects of the vaccine, I make it sound like it's really scary, but it is way more scary to get COVID-19. One of the most popular questions is, is mRNA proven to be safe yet? And does it alter your cells? So we need to begin with explaining how the RNA vaccines work. RNA actually works a lot like a post-it note or in younger people terms, a Snapchat message. It sends instructions to your cell to make the spike protein and after that it disappears or is tossed away. So in your body, it only stays for about a few days where it carries out inst instruction and then is destroyed. You're going to have a really strong immune system that's all trained up, has all the right muscles to go and boxes out the virus before it can cause any trouble. RNA does not go anywhere near where DNA is contained in the cell, which is the nucleus. And therefore, this is a very short-term effect on your body that does not stay long, but is enough to build an immune response that will last you a long time. So first, we need to explain what uh, efficacy is. Efficacy describes in a trial how likely an, a vaccinated person is to get COVID-19 compared to an unvaccinated person if both of them were exposed to the virus. So no vaccine is actually 100%. In fact, most of the really effective vaccines that you've already taken as part of your routine are at most about 85 to 95% effective. So this would include things like your MMR, your hepatitis B vaccine, and flu vaccines, which are actually really effective at preventing you from going to the hospital or developing any disease. And 95% is actually pretty close to the best vaccines we have out there. Well, it's famously known that most drugs and vaccines take a very long time in development, but actually the biggest roadblocks are money and the approval and the bureaucratic approval process for many of these drugs. Basically, all the money roadblocks were removed. Many grants were set aside for developing COVID-19 um, vaccines and treatments, and also approvals were done a lot more quickly than usual. And this is the power of when everyone bands together and trusts the science. We went through all the necessary phases of the usual clinical trials, and we did not shorten the period of time it would take to assess whether the vaccines or the drugs were safe. Very common side effects of the COVID-19 vaccines is that you'll feel some soreness at the injection site. A significant number of people will feel a bit tired, they might get a headache, and they might run a mild fever. The thing is, these are all very expected effects from the vaccine, and it's actually also what was reported in the trial. So none of this is actually a surprise that happened after we approved the vaccine. And they all subside within about two or three days. It have been some alarm and concern about the reports of individuals who got severe al allergic reactions to the vaccine, which means that they developed shortness of breath and had to be treated very quickly. This is actually a very rare side effect to the vaccine. The observation period of 30 minutes is actually meant to catch these reactions. And to reiterate, this is extremely rare. The probability of an older person dying of COVID-19 or getting severe disease is much higher. So by getting the vaccine and getting the mild side effects, you actually reap more benefit as an old person because the greatest you have the greatest risk of reduction of disease. The trial was actually conducted without ruling these people out. So yes, you can get the vaccine if you have underlying heart disease or diabetes or high blood pressure. Please consult your medical care provider. About, uh, about your personal history, but these do not rule you out for getting the vaccine. The best vaccine you can get is the one that's first offered to you and gives you protection quicker. 50%, 70%, and 90% effectiveness is all better than 0% at preventing COVID-19, which is what you would be if you're not vaccinated. So please, anything that you get is going to protect you. Just go for it. Well, we're lucky to be asking that question in the first place because we don't have an outbreak, active outbreak going on where everyone's clamoring to get a vaccine as has happened in some other countries with uncontrolled spread. And that has caused a lot of strain and a lot of chaos in the vaccine distribution process. We are very lucky that most of us in Singapore don't have a very close personal knowledge of how bad COVID-19 can get. You know, when I talk about the side effects of the vaccine, I make it sound like it's really scary, but it is way more scary to get COVID-19 because again, it's a disease that we're still learning about that we don't understand that has, you know, long-term effects. 
All right, so I've gone over why the vaccine is safe, why it's been rigorously tested, and to debunk a couple of the myths that are circulating and all the amazing benefits we get from vaccination. So please, please get vaccinated when it is your turn. And please bring your senior family members to get vaccinated to protect them against severe disease. And lastly, please share correct information about the vaccine. And this is what we've been waiting for. We're in the home stretch.